It's Tuesday, June 20th, 2017. Attorney General Josh Shapiro urges the FCC to reject a telecommunications industry petition intended to stop falsifying advertising related to internet speeds. A Virginia woman pleads guilty to several fraud schemes resulting in a loss of nearly a quarter million dollars to the United States. And with the temperatures in the mid to upper 110s on the West Coast, heat wave conditions will continue until beyond the weekend. Those stories coming up later on Action News, but our top story tonight comes to us out of Harrisburg, where Exelon Corporation has announced their plans to decommission the sole functioning reactor of the Three Mile Island Nuclear Generating Station. The news came out this afternoon when Jay Bradley Fuel, Exelon's general counsel, stated that the second unit at the facility would be terminated by the end of the decade. Senior Vice President of the company, Brian Hansen, stated in a letter to the Nuclear Regulatory Commission that the remaining reactor is no longer profitable and has lost over $300 million over the course of the past five years, despite it being one of the better performing stations. Recently, states such as New York and Illinois have launched clean energy credits that were designed to help their local nuclear power plants compete with more inexpensive power source alternatives. A bipartisan group of lawmakers plan to hold public hearings on this issue, although no state officials have publicly supported a specific solution. Supporters of the intervention to assist nuclear power plants such as Three Mile Island state that it does not emit any of the greenhouse gases that can potentially contribute to climate change, saying that the plant would be converted over to a gas-fired plant as opposed to the clean yet less reliable wind or solar power generations. Critics, on the other hand, have expressed concerns that any measure to bail out the nuclear power plant industry would lead to higher taxpayer spending and energy costs to the consumer. Brian Hansen of Exelon also said in an interview, quote, safe shutdown of the facility may require the units to coast down from maximum output as fuel is depleted, resulting in an actual shutdown date that varies slightly from the target date, end quote. The plan is scheduled to cease all operations on or about September 30th of 2019, with decommission costs totaling as much as $1.2 billion. Of course, it was back in 1979 that Three Mile Island was the site of the most significant nuclear accident in the United States nuclear power plant industry, with a partial meltdown of the second reactor, which rated a level 5 on the international event scale, implying an accident with wide consequences. That reactor was shut down shortly after the incident, with its final cleanup ending in 19. It's estimated that total decommissioning of the final unit would not be expected to be completed for an additional 60 years or by the end of the year 2079 on the 100th anniversary of the plant's infamous incident. Attorney General Josh Shapiro is urging the Federal Communications Commission to reject a broadband industry petition, which is intended to stop states from advertising incorrect information related to Internet transmission speeds. In a comment submitted to the Federal Communications Commission, Attorney General Shapiro... For one down and dirty hour of fun. It's a win. The Connors are expecting. <laughs> Thank you.
The National Weather Service in State College has issued severe thunderstorm watch number 114, effective until 4.23 p.m. This watch includes the following counties, in Pennsylvania, Cumberland, Dauphin, and York. A severe thunderstorm watch means that conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including severe thunderstorms, large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen to later statements and possible warnings. Repeating, the National Weather Service has issued severe thunderstorm watch number 114, effective until 4.23 p.m., for the following counties, in Pennsylvania, Cumberland, Dauphin, and York. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or reliable Internet sources for the latest severe weather information.
heavy rainfall is occurring with the storm and may lead to flash flooding. Do not drive your vehicle through flooded roadways. Turn around, don't drown. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Repeating, the National Weather Service has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for the following counties in Pennsylvania, Cumberland, Dauphin, Lebanon, Perry, and York until 7.02 p.m. Severe thunderstorm watch number 114 for Cumberland, Dauphin, and York counties have been canceled. Stay tuned to know weather radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or reliable internet sources for the latest information. Ridiculous amounts are amounts that are ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Bingo. Get an extra most bestest with the most cheese. Service in State College has issued tornado watch number 57, effective until 6.14 p.m. This watch includes the following counties in Pennsylvania, Cumberland, Dauphin, Lebanon, Perry and York. Remember, a tornado watch means that conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including tornadoes, large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. This is a potentially dangerous situation. While a tornado may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen to later statements and possible warnings. A severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 7.02 p.m. within the warned area. Repeating, the National Weather Service has issued tornado watch number 57, effective until 6.14 p.m. for the following counties in Pennsylvania, Cumberland, Dauphin, Lebanon, Perry and York. Stay tuned to know weather radio, commercial radio, and television outlets or reliable internet sources for the latest severe weather information. They make sure you have the protection you need, but they also... Southeastern Pennsylvania, Southeast Perry County in South Central Pennsylvania, and Northern York County in Southern Pennsylvania, until 4.33 p.m. At 3.28 p.m., trained red responders confirmed the funnel cloud was located near Newport, moving southeast at 30 miles per hour. Hazard. Confirmed tornado. Source. Trained sky warning red responders. Impact. Flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Local homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This is a potentially life-threatening situation. Find immediate shelter. Locations impacted include Dover, East Berlin, Amherstburg, Mechanicsburg, Middletown, Green Mile Island, and more. To repeat, a potential
potentially life threatening tornadoes on the ground. To protect your life, take cover now. Move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If in a mobile home, a vehicle, or outdoors, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Stay tuned to no weather radio, commercial radio, and television outlets or reliable internet sources for the latest severe weather information. Plays with the best deal in wireless. Switch and get your... to know weather radio all hazards station wxl 40 in harrisburg on a frequency of 162.55 megahertz originating from the national weather service forecast office in state college pennsylvania tornado watch number 57 remains in effect until 6 14 pm this watch includes the following count Service in State College has issued a tornado warning for Cumberland, Dauphin, Lancaster and York counties in Pennsylvania until 5.02 p.m. At 3.58 p.m., a confirmed large and extremely dangerous tornado is located near Lower Allen Township in Cumberland County, moving east-southeast at 15 miles per hour. This is a tornado that has a message for Cumberland, Dauphin, Lancaster and York counties. This is a particularly dangerous situation. Take cover now. Repeating, take cover now. Hazard. Deadly tornado activity. Source. Radar indicated rotation. Impact. Flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. You are in a life-threatening situation. Complete destruction is possible. This dangerous storm will be near Fairview Township around 4.05 p.m. Newberry Township around 4.10 p.m. Three Mile Island Generating Station around 4.15 p.m. And Mount Wolf Township around 4.25 p.m. To repeat, a large, extremely dangerous and potentially deadly tornado is on the ground. To protect your life, take cover now. Move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If in a mobile home, a vehicle, or outdoors, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. A tornado emergency for Cumberland, Dauphin, Lancaster, and York counties is in effect until 5.02 p.m. Commercial radio and television outlets, or reliable internet sources for the latest severe weather information. in your counties. At 3.58 p.m., a confirmed large and extremely dangerous tornado was found.
following message is being transmitted at the request of Energy Solutions and Excel on Three Mile Island Nuclear Generating Station. This is not a drill. An industrial fire is currently taking place at the Three Mile Island Nuclear Generating Station in London Derry Township. A large and extreme tornado that passed through the area within the last hour has caused disturbances, including physical damage to the previously decommissioned second unit, alongside the event of fire at the first unit. Authorities are currently at the location of the fire, making attempts to contain the blaze. However, the strong winds and heavy rainfall is making fire extinguishing more difficult than usual. A mandatory evacuation order has not yet been requested by local government due to the ongoing heavy thunderstorm and tornado activity in the area. While a meltdown of the active reactor may not be imminent, be prepared to take action in the event that an evacuation order or other safety orders are issued for your area. If you are not already in a secured shelter, go to one now. Move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a strong building, avoiding windows if possible. Turn off any systems that draw in outside air, such as furnaces, fireplaces, and air conditioners. Bring any necessities you may need, such as food, water, and ventilation to your shelter. In addition, bring a battery-powered radio or television with extra batteries with you in the event that power fails. In the event that you hear sirens, this means that an emergency situation has occurred at the power plant and you should tune to local radio or television stations for the latest developments. This is not a drill. To repeat, an industrial fire is currently taking place at the Three Mile Island Nuclear Generating Station. The tornado that passed through the area has caused disturbances, including physical damage to the facility and an active fire at the site. Authorities are currently making attempts to contain the blaze, however the strong winds and heavy rainfall is making containment difficult. A mandatory evacuation order has not yet been requested due to the ongoing weather conditions. While a meltdown may not be imminent, be prepared to take action in the event that an evacuation or other safety order is issued. If you are not already in a secure shelter, go to one now. Close all doors and windows, and shut off any systems that draw in outside of them, such as furnaces, fireplaces, and air conditioners. Bring food, water, medication, and a battery-powered radio or television with extra batteries with your tumor shelter. If you hear sirens, tune to local radio or television stations and await further instructions.
Because of this, the Dauphin County Office of Emergency Management has requested that all persons within a 10-mile radius of the power plant evacuate the area immediately. This area includes locations as north as South Hanover Township, as south as Manchester Township, as west as Warrington Township, and as east as Mountjoy Township. This is not a test. Mandatory evacuation order. Emergency evacuation routes are as follows. Westbound, U.S. Route 11, Interstate 76 and 81, and County Roads 114 and 117. Southbound evacuation routes include U.S. Route 30, Interstate 83, and County Roads 24, 181 and 285. Eastbound evacuation routes include U.S. Route 30 and 322, Interstate 76, and County Roads 230, 241, 283 and 441. Northbound evacuation routes include Interstate 83 and County Roads 39, 241 and 743. This is not a test. We have to wait now. The fire at Three Mile Island has continued to spread. While local fire departments are attempting to contain the blaze, the possibility of a meltdown or explosion has dramatically increased. The Dauphin County Department of Public Safety has requested that all persons within a 10-mile radius of the power plant evacuate the area immediately. This area includes locations as north as South Hanover Township, as south as Manchester Township, as west as Warrington Township, and as east as Mountjoy Township. This is not a test. Mandatory evacuation order. Do not attempt to pick up children, family members or friends at schools, hospitals, nursing homes or overnight campgrounds. These facilities will be following their own emergency procedures and you would most likely result in a cost infection. Students, patients and nursing home residents will be accompanied to safe relocation centers where specific needs will be addressed. Local media outlets will update the public on the location of those relocated from such settings as soon as possible. If you have neighbors that are unable to evacuate, and you have space in your vehicle, make extra seats available to them. Because of the current severe weather conditions, take extra caution while traveling. Do not tailgate. Drive at an appropriate speed, and take extra care if you drive a high-profile vehicle. Plan to be away from home for at least five days. Make sure you lock all doors and windows and turn off any appliances that run off of electricity or gas as you would for a vacation. Pack all necessary items, including medication, important documents, a mobile device with charger, and a battery-powered radio. The Dauphin County Office of Emergency Management has requested that all persons within a 10-mile radius of the Three Mile Island Nuclear Generating Station evacuate the area immediately. This includes locations as north as South Hanover Township, as south as Manchester Township, as west as Warrington Township, and as east as Mount Joy Township. This is not a test. Site that was triggered by the recent tornado activity in the area. Areas within a 
15 mile radius of the power plant have been severely damaged or destroyed. This explosion has caused an influx of radiological materials into the atmosphere, which will be heading southeast of the power plant, and can reach the broadcast area within the next one to two hours. These radioactive materials, also known as fallout, are particles that fall to Earth as a result of a nuclear explosion. These particles are often too small to see with the naked eye, have no color, scent or taste. These particles have the ability to remain in the atmosphere and stay potent for as long as two weeks. It is extremely important to avoid contact with these radioactive particles, as fallout is deadly. Get inside of the nearest building. Put as many walls between you and the outside world to protect you from radiation. Go to the center of the basement if possible. If no basement is available, stay in the central room of your building, away from windows. Turn off all the exhaust fans, air conditioners, fireplace dampers and forced air heating units that breathe in outside air. Prepare to remain in your shelter for at least two weeks. Collect a supply of non-perishable food, water, medication and other medical supplies, special dietary needs for children, the elderly or pets, and a battery-powered or hand-cranked radio for updates from civil authorities. Bring a can opener to open canned food products collected. Do not use water from the tap if you have a public water supply, as it cannot be guaranteed as safe for consumption or for other uses. Do not use any food that comes from an outside source such as a garden, as these may also be contaminated with nuclear fallout. Do not venture outside for any reason until it is deemed safe to do so. Local authorities will alert you when it is safe to go outdoors. When the emergency is over, do not make an attempt to evacuate. The time it takes to evacuate the area will not provide adequate protection against fallout. Take note that emergency services such as medical equipment and fire control will not be available for an indefinite period. Only call 911 for such services if you are in a life-threatening situation. Keep in mind that such public services, if available, may take longer than usual to reach you due to this regional emergency. Unless you have a life or death emergency, do not use the telephone at all. Telephone lines, both landline and cellular, should be kept open for emergency personnel. Data services should also be kept open for emergency use only. When you hear a steady siren sounding, this is a notice to turn on your radio for additional information, news or instructions. This is not a text message. An explosion has occurred at the Three Mile Island Nuclear Generating Station in Dolphin County. The areas within a 15 mile radius of the power plant have been severely damaged or destroyed. This explosion has caused an increase of radiological materials into the local atmosphere, which will be heading southeast of the power plant, and could reach the broadcast area within the next one to two hours. Radioactive fallout is deadly. Get inside of the nearest sturdy building. Put as many walls between you and the outside world to protect you from radioactivity. Go to a basement if possible, but if one is not available, stay in the central room of your building, away from any windows. Turn off exterior exhaust fans, air conditioners, heating units or fireplace dampers. Prepare to remain in your shelter for at least two weeks. Collect a supply of non-perishable food along with a can opener, water, medication and other medical supplies, special dietary needs for children, the elderly or pets, and a battery-powered radio for updates from authorities. Do not use water from the tap, use public water supply, or use food from the outside food source, as these may be contaminated with radioactive material. Do not exit your shelter for any reason. Authorities will you it is safe to do so. Do not attempt to evacuate. Note that emergency medical, police and fire control services may not be available for an indefinite period. Only call 911 for such services if you are in a life-threatening situation. Keep in mind that these services, if still available, may take longer than normal to reach you due to the situation. Unless you have a life or death emergency, do not use the telephone. The telephone lines, both landline and cellular, as well as data services should be kept open for emergency use. Tune your radio to local stations when you hear a steady siren, as this means that updated information is available. This is not a test message. Take shelter immediately. This message will repeat in 10 minutes.
is being transmitted at the request of the Delaware State Police Department. All clear. Radioactivity levels in your area have been checked. As of 12 noon, the measurements of radiological materials have been proven low enough to exit your shelter safely. Please listen carefully to the following information. If you use a public water supply, it is recommended that you allow the taps to run on all sinks, tubs and hoses for at least 5 minutes to ensure all possible forms of residual fallout particles are eliminated. Flush all toilets as well. It is not necessary to boil water for drinking purposes. Please note that it may take 24 to 48 hours for emergency services to return to typical functionality. Only call 911 if you have a true emergency. The state of Delaware has set up a special telephone hotline for individuals with questions or concerns about the events that occurred over the past two weeks, as well as for those that need physical or mental assistance to return to standard living. You may contact the Delaware State Radiological Task Force at 1-800-555-7306. Again, that's 1-800-555-7306. Repeating, all clear, radioactivity levels in your area have been checked and measurements of radiological materials have been deemed low enough to vacate your shelter. If you use a public water supply, it is highly recommended that you allow taps to run on all sinks, tubs and hoses for at least 5 minutes, and to flush all toilets. Water need not be boiled for drinking purposes. It may take as long as 48 hours for emergency services to return to regular functionality. Only call 911 if you have a true emergency. The state of Delaware has set up a hotline for those with questions or concerns about the events that occurred over the past two weeks, as well as for those that need physical or mental assistance to return to normal living. You may contact the Delaware State Radiological Task Force at 1-800-555-7306. talking about uh, you and where you work. How safe is it? We'll find out in two minutes. You need the original Bacon Wave, the amazing product that makes perfectly cooked bacon right in your microwave in just minutes. Simply place up to 14 strips of bacon in the Bacon Wave and pop it in the microwave. It's that easy. Bacon Wave does all the work. Good afternoon. I'm Christopher Christman with breaking news here at 6ABC. Some news that has been over two weeks coming. The Delaware State Police Department has announced that radioactivity levels have been monitored. And as of noontime today, it is now considered safe to leave your shelters. This, of course, has seemed like an eternity for many residents of the state of Delaware. It started about two weeks ago this past Wednesday when major thunderstorms hit the tri-state area which resulted in a tornado which ripped through the former Three Mile Island nuclear power plant, destroying the first unit to the point of a nuclear explosion. The station was literally just a few months away from its official disconnection from nuclear power after it was announced that the station would be completely decommissioned, despite the fact that it was licensed for operation until the year 2034. Now, while the Delaware State Police Department has announced that it is safe to leave your fallout shelters, the department has a number of instructions and details that it wants to bring to the public's attention. First and foremost, before using any water supplies, especially if it is a public water source, 
You should run all faucets and taps in every sink, tub, and hose that you have for at least five minutes to ensure that all backed up radiation particles are flushed out of the system. Water does not need to be boiled or conditioned for drinking or other uses. It's also being advised that you flush all toilets in your home as well. It's also very important to keep in mind that it will take emergency services such as paramedics, law enforcement, fire stations, and other first responders some time to return to regular operation. It could take as long as two or three days for these services to be completely back up and running normally. You should only call 911 if you have a life or death situation and should also take advantage of non-emergency numbers for other purposes. If you have a loved one that was at a school, hospital, or nursing home or other such facility at the time of the emergency a couple weeks ago, part of their emergency plans include methods of contacting their loved ones at the end of the situation. Only contact such organizations if you do not have working telephone service at your location. Also, it is critical to keep in mind that under no circumstances should anybody approach Three Mile Island. While radioactivity is safe in the surrounding areas, the location immediate to Ground Zero cannot be determined safe at this time and should be completely avoided until further notice. Finally, the Delaware State Police Department is very much aware that the entire state has been more than shaken up with the events of the past two weeks and want the public to know that they have started a support hotline for those residents that are in need of physical or mental help during this time period. The Delaware State Radiological Task Force can be contacted 24 hours a day, toll free, at 1-800-555-7306. And this is a free call for any resident of the state of Delaware on both landline and cellular services. All of us at Channel 6 are obviously very shaken up with the events that have happened over the course of the past two weeks. Channel 6 will continue updating the community as the events of recovery continue to unfold. Best of luck for the next couple of weeks.